Okay, here we are in Bonzillium Estates. Um, as you can see here in front of me, I just bought this on the eBay. It was sold as a 12 by 14. I asked the fellow, he ch said he checked a couple times. Not everybody knows, God love him. I bought it anyway. Um, it is a 10 by 14 marching snare. They're not very common in the 10 by 14 size. So essentially what I have here now is a three ply 10 by 14 rack tom in my favorite red silver stripe color. So now I have my red silver bass drum you haven't seen for a couple of years in the videos, as well as a 12 by 15 tenor drum and a 12 by 17. So my bottom configuration in this finish is 14 by 26, 10 by 14, 12 by 15 floor tom and a 12 by 17. Whew, boy, it's kind of hot down here. Some storms coming, a lot of humidity. So, whew, so here's the deal. So that's what I'm going to do. And the funny thing is, is that it looks like somebody had already in the proper place put a Ludwig mount on it. So I'm just going to essentially take off the snare hardware, the butt plate, and there's a modern throw on it. And the neat thing is because it has an early Acousta Perfect snare... Snare bed, see that, the Acousta Perfect, a very gradual sliding. I think I could just put regular heads on this baby and it's gonna sound like a trillion dollars. So I'll set that thing up soon enough. Isn't this kind of cool though? I finally got one. I almost bought one like a month ago that was silver with a red stripe, but I already have the nine by 13 silver with the red stripe, which I'll use on the kit you've seen in the videos anyway. But, so here we are. Today is the 38th anniversary of John Bonham's passing. George just put a video up on Bonzology about an hour and a half ago or two hours ago of traveling Riverside Blues, God love him. George truly is a diamond, okay, in Led Zeppelin, John Bonnenberg, for the love of God. Okay, remember, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a quintuple threat. Not only is he a great world-class professional drummer, not only does he play exactly like Bonham or as close as he can get, not only does he know by memory, all the fills Bonham did in the studio and live and everything else, not only is he chock full of Led Zeppelin knowledge, but fifthly, in Quinttown, he can tune the drums exactly like Bonham. That's huge. I'm so proud of me for discovering him. No, but look, we got to get your friends, get everybody to subscribe to Bonzology. It is... It's a waste. There's still under 3,000 subscribers over there. I know a lot of people are like, well, let's get the ball rolling in Bonzologyville, okay? Maybe George and I in the not-too-distant future could go off and do tours like Bonzology, Bonzolium. I'm just noticing a couple of the uh, tension rods are aftermarket, but that's okay. Um, oh, and the, and the hoops are chrome over brass. So if anybody out there wants to email me at Bonzolium, at gmail.com and buy these uh, eight log snare. Remember, these would be the same ones you'd see in a jazz festival of your your early 60s and before. They are eight log chrome over brass on oh, my back. Uh, snare hoops, same ones you'd find in a snare. Room. If anybody wants them, make me an offer on them and I'll ship them to you. Remember chrome over brass? They're in really good shape. I mean, they're not mint, but they don't appear to be dented or crazily bent or anything. I mean, you know, I mean, they're, they're used. You know, it looks like there might be a little bit of a little dent here that doesn't affect. You know what I mean? I mean, they're used. But I'm not going to keep these on this drum. Anyway, so what we're going to do is let me fool around a little on the drums. I have my Peisty Sound Formula 18-inch Frankenstein Thin Crash and my Peisty Giant Beat Multi from a few years ago. Wonderful. These symbols, you have B15 and B8. I don't have my ride up for now, partly because I'm just trying to do stuff on the hi-hat, a lot of people had asked, but also too, it's a little bit in the way. And really, on this bass drum, I have yet to swap out the bass drum bracket with the new ones that have the teeth. So I'm scared to death, I'm gonna put a ride symbol on there, and I'll be playing, it'll go right over, conk and fall. So, all right, 
So let me get this out of the way. Here it is. Mm. Thank you for oh, yeah. subscribing. One of the, I want to say that the most pain I ever experienced at one time, apart from probably the vasectomy, and I'm not kidding there, is I one time had a Radio King set I was exchanging. I was trading it to a fellow named Jamie Carter, great engineer here out of the Midwest. He was voted in the reader as... He, he beat out Steve Albini in the uh, contest of who was the best engineer. I had a Radio King. I was trading him for like 10 hours of studio time. And uh, I mean, it was, you know, it, it, I should, you know, you might say, oh my God, that should have been worth 30 hours. Well, there were some extra holes in it and stuff, whatever. But I walked into it and the metal old fashioned T-Rod thing hit me right in the exact spot on a bone. And when you have something hit a bone right at the exact spot, it's agony in El Hardin, okay? So here we go. So I'm just going to play the drums till we go out, okay? So in memory of John Henry Bonham, 38 years ago today, I do remember that the day we all got news. So he died uh, at night between September 24th and September 25th. When they discovered him, I think it was about 11 in the morning England time, so which would have been 4 or 5 in the morning September 25th Chicago time. And word by morning, by 8 o'clock here, I think in was already that he had passed away. So um, in the Chicago Tribune that day, and I'm sure many other newspapers around in cities, they used to sell the tickets in those days by newspaper, man. You literally would have to cut something out of the newspaper, fill in what you wanted, write a check or money order, put it in an envelope and mail it off, and then they'd mail you your tickets. Well, this day, September 25th, was the day the tickets went on sale. I want to say it said a and R. What was it? At the top, it said a and R. Concerts or A&R Productions in association with Concerts West presents Led Zeppelin live at the Chicago Stadium. And I think they had like five freaking shows, man. I think it was November. Right? What would have been November 1980. And supposedly I'd heard from the late Bill Townsend that Bonham was going to play a 24, 13, 16, 18 in Black Sparkle from Ludwig, supposedly. I can't confirm that. I do have a friend or two at Ludwig we could ask. Maybe they could find out. So... And a real quick aside, my older brother and my older cousin, I remember saying to them, I said, hey, uh, you know, there's someone we know whose mom works at the Chicago Stadium ticket office. Why don't we get our hands on all those unsold tickets and sell them? And I remember they were like, Terry, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Uh, well, if you look online, somebody's been selling those tickets for the last 38 years. Framed. You can buy one. You can buy two. You can buy three. There's a little picture of the Chicago Stadium. Hmm, I should have acted. All right, so here we go. Oops. All right, come on. Come on. All right. Here it is. Tighten that up a little. Let me get my phone out. Ow! That hurt. We are. We are the champions. This had better not have broken. I'll tell you, man. These MXL V250 microphones are the cat's ass. It'd be nice if MXL, is that what it is, MXL? Said, Terry and George, how would you guys like to be official endorsers of our product? And they gave us all kinds. There we go. All right. Let's pretend that hopefully this is working. Real fast, this is a 65 by 14 Indy. The manufacturer is INDE. I'm not affiliated with the company. I bought it with my own money, and I paid full price for it. I put a Leedy and Ludwig uh, heavy cast lugs on it uh, as the two-inch hole spacing lined up. 
Remember the modern Imperials, remember Ludwig just started, well, a few years ago now, started making the flat Imperials again at mine and numerous other people's request, hopefully, or at least they just did it anyway, but those are two and three sixteens hole spacing. So that's what this is. It's an aluminum shell. It's the closest, apparently, for now, I'll ever get to an eight log six and a half by 14 superphonic. My screws that are loose. They, <laughs> thanks for watching. More videos on the way. Remember, check out Bonsology. George just put up Traveling Riverside Blues. We need more than 2,900 subscribers, which is subscribers, which is what we have over there. So tell your friends. Subscribe to Bonsology. Check out Bonsology today. I'm a little out of breath. So hopefully this microphone's still working. Thank you for watching. More videos on the way.